all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Well, well. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Me Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. I'm trying to blaze! Nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> Hold on. Something. Ah, uh, you ain't gonna get me with that one. Ah, uh, I have walked through that door too many times. I know there's nothing on the other side of that door. Nothing. No, no, no. There's like, there's like a a, a reskin of a skin we got four years ago. But this time it's in white. Uh, nah, that nah. You know what? I, there's just this undying urge in me to walk through this door. I know full well it's bait, but it has me by the balls. I'll never escape it. Uh. Yeah, I've waited this long. I, I'll just let's see how it goes. New content? What does that mean? New content. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, man. I, I fucking couldn't. I fully expected that this door named new content would be the whole content. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I didn't even expect a room with a chair. I. <laughs> Oh, this is uncharted territory. Oh, oh, god damn it. I Dude, I always knew I was gonna get in trouble. Well, this is where I get put in my pen. Yep, you thought you were escaping, bitch. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No. I'm getting shipped off to the, the reindoctrination factory. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. <sighs> As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting <gasps> audiences the world over. Oh no, that's not real. That thing's fake. Please. Step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. No, 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 this is an actual Pepe laugh. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Yeah, sure, man. I've been on this copium train before. <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. Um, is it broken? <laughs> What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Man, it's my internal thoughts. They're leaking out. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> it's... Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, let's see. Oh. It's the jump circle. Let's push. Okay. Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. <laughs> this is what passes for exciting new content. But this is new content. Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. Oh, yeah. I knew there had to be something else. Yeah, yeah. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Yep. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? 
This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a Thanks. cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an mind. easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe what one actually says. <laughs> Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance no. department signed off on this? No I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally. Me accountable. <laughs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived die. up to such expectations. Oh my god. If you're still with me, why don't we just oh. reset the game? <coughs> oh, oh, Jesus. We're right back again. Oh. Oh, what the f is this? Oh my god. Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Nah. Nah, 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 nah. 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 Alright, I'm already down the rabbit hole. What's up? What do you got in here? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Oh my god, are we gonna get original Overwatch? Oh my god, there's no way. Nah, this is, this is too meta. This is actually blowing my mind. I call it... The Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. It's original Overwatch. This is what our, this is what it looks like to us, through our eyes, through the memories. Oh, hell no. The Memory Zone. Nah, th this is your. This is literally them re-releasing Overwatch. This is like when this, this is if they you come out Stanley, and go, we're re-releasing re Overwatch remind again. You of how wonderful Stanley Parable <clears throat> was before it was solid with a cheap re-release. Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched. Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Oh my God, this is too real. This is um the deluxe, the complete deluxe edition, the the regular edition, game of the year. Smile because it happened. Oh my god, dude! This dude, y'all are gonna make me retire. Oh, loving memory of little Stanley. Oh no! Oh no! Sit down. I see some some pegs. Je suis dans la memory zone. C'est cela plus belle. Et je n'attends plus que toi, mon amour. I dedicate this last half bitten. It's concerning the other pieces not in the packaging, so this was half bitten. Cheese and salami slice cracker sandwich with Stanley. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, we're so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. It was literally every <clears throat> game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk. It's getting too meta. An hour of new elevator content. This is too real. Stop. 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 You're... Stop. You're freaking me the f*** out, man. The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. 
It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Please, please, please stop, please. Please, shh, shh, shh. Sh I'm Wait, on fire! hang on. I don't Flat. recall this part of the memory months. zone before. What's you this? Did? What's down here? Uh oh. This is, the, this is what is known as the Overwatch Iceberg. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't uh -oh. looked at these in years. Oh no. It, it, it might be worse. Collecting down here. It might be worse Surely than the iceberg. Were glowing as well, weren't they? It might be the forums. Oh my god. It's the forums! While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, well, you kind of are. This is actually quite shocking for me. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. You're getting a little too meta again, man. You're getting a little too meta. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then... Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. <laughs> well there, Sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Yo, you shut up. Keep working. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me just... That's kind of annoying. All right, can I get up to it? Okay, I'll just hit the button. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was oh, meant he's to have still a point. going? It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. Because otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. Without entertainment, we would oh, have no, to face inward to walk Jeff's the original monologue. <laughs> inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a Shut up! Nice. 
the end is never 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 the end is how did the ceiling collapse but we can't see anything? Oh! We can see stuff now. No? I guess we're still gonna wait. Some Last of Us vibes going on over here? Never mind. Yeah, they're still not done. They're still working on the PvE. We gotta keep waiting. Nice. This is Overwatch players. Looking out on the horizon for content. No grass. Far reaching expansions of what is the contentless drought. The never ending comments. And every pebble is another person who wants to be spectated. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Y'all motherfuckers! Y'all motherfuckers might have got us the first time, but the second time? Nah! No, nah, we know exactly what you've got in store for us uh, we already know what's coming you there is no 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 <sighs> you know what chat this is actually my internal struggle looking at beta 2 for overwatch and that june announcement and deciding whether or not i should move on to another game or stick with overwatch this is what they keep doing to me they can have this stupid door that says new content and then i walk through it and i realize there's nothing there and then they have this big ass neon sign that says new new content pointing at this door and i fall for it every fucking oh, time you notice my sign yes i have something very exciting to show you You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. True. And forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Oh, Which fuck. is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable. No! 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 We've been down this road already! Turn back! Turn back! I want to go home! No! I don't want to do it all over again! No, we're not doing Overwatch 2 again, dude! No, 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 no. Ah, oh, the end is never the end again. Oh, dude, fuck the oh god! <sighs> really contemplating my life choices over here. No, 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 no. No, 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 hold on. Hold on. 
No! No, this isn't real. No, 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 no. They just changed it from red to orange. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, please. Thank you. Why you have the feeling we are doing a virtual <laughs> tour into Blizzard HQ? <laughs> I'm scared, dude. I'm fucking terrified. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Batman Arkham Asylum 2, City, Divinity Origin Sin 2, Doom 2, Aladdin 2, Return of Jafar, Dark Souls 2, 2, 2. Oh no, dude, there's no way. Oh no. New features, new content. No, nah, I'm, dude, nah, I, uh, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not ready to get back on this boss again, man. I, uh, dude, I, uh, the content boss, nah, that's a lie. The, the content boss is nothing but lies, man. It's, oh no, oh boy, oh, oh god. Expo Hall 2? Oh no. This is th this is foreshadowing. This is Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. Okay, that Maybe we don't do that one first. This looks kind of suspicious. A whole new office. Red is the new orange. <sighs> this this whole game feels like an Overwatch 2 meme. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's no way there's this many consistencies. The button that says the name of the player. Jump circle. Infinite hole. Let's go hit the button first. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. I'm leaving, chat. I'm going to somewhere else. Settings, world champion, free achievement. That doesn't seem suspicious at all. Yeah, it's free like fucking candy. Okay. Right, let's go see the bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't This is Chad's perspective. All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? They're both equally terrible. The blue catches my eye more, but I think the white sends a message. 
You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, Stepniece, it is. That was so mean. You can find them, you can find them. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. What in the fuck? Yo, are those decapitated arms? Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. I'm getting gaslit, dude. I've, dude, I get gaslit enough already, man. This isn't fair. This isn't funny. There's something more here. There's no way this is not... Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Wait, how... What? What? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Okay, Stanley, I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite great now. I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. <laughs> okay, and I guess we're back in the hole now. Did you really need to see it again? I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite hole. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. I'll be honest with you, I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know, I told you the hole was infinite, but come on! Who actually wants to fall forever? Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem! <sighs> Look, uh, the things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? 
If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Oh, for heaven! You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there, goes on forever till the end of time. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here it's to tough, do. Man. It's tough, man! It's tough! Leave me alone! Alright! Hmm. Is the, um, teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing? Well, I suppose, I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. We're in, boys. We're in.
good, you're awake. What? It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is... I was actually lit, though. I didn't get to see all the options. I was too busy making it, like, a jam. All right, next, next. Uh, is there anything we haven't done? Office, epilogue, collectibles, infinite hole, jump circle. Yeah, we done everything. Oh, the settings world champion. We haven't done that. Change every single one of your settings. Again. God, all my all my settings are. Keys directional pad is slowly adjust each side value one by one. No way. All right, the achievement. There it is. Okay, beautiful. We got it. Beautiful. Aha! I can see you've gotten the settings world champion achievement. Well done. Ah. Nice. You've experienced every setting. So, just for you, in the Stanley Parable 2, I'm including an entirely new setting, something called Bump Scosity. What exactly is Bump Scosity? Well, I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but I just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider, and that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. I hope you're looking forward to trying out every level of bump scosity in the Stanley Parable 2. Wow, that we did all that for that. I hate it here. I am I'm leaving. Check the settings menu. Bump cos jump adjust the bump scosity. Okay, thanks. That uh, great. That does lots. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes, yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Same, man. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. <laughs> 